Hi, everybody, and welcome to The Better Show. I'm J.D. Roberto. Good to have you with us today. We have a lot of very, very fun things planned. And in honor of our very first guest today, uh, I'm going to give you a little quiz. You know I like quizzes. I know you love trivia, right? Bring it on. Bring, Bring it, on. it on. I would Bring do my dance. Do, you do the quiz down. dance you do when Gene Jones yes. is here. Okay, yeah. here's the thing. <laughs> have you guys ever done this? You're using the bathroom, and you're on the phone. Yeah, sure. Hi, Rebecca. Yeah, I'm excited about the show. I Mom. wouldn't do it if I was talking to you. And then you finish, and you got to flush, but you don't want them to know... So like you kind of like have you ever done the flush and run thing where you flush and then you kind of run? So the sound have you ever done it? I knew it. I've done the flush and run thing. We are back with covert affair star and author Hill Harper. You went to Harvard Law School. Yes. Uh, and you got an undergrad degree, magna cum laude from Brown. What did your parents say when you said, nah, I'm not going to use that law degree, I'm going to be an actor? They said, <laughs> are you out of your mind? You were born in the U.S., your parents yeah. were studying at UCLA, then you moved back to Pakistan, yeah. and then back to Maryland, was yeah. it? Yeah, 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 God, you did your homework. Well, how did that affect you as a young man? Wow, that's a great question. That's a good question. Oh, wow. Oh. You're going deep now, J.D. <laughs> yeah. I date short men because... Um, really? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> sit, over, sit over here, my Pamela. Okay, uh, okay yes. See, yes, see? Rebecca. Who is she? Is she? <laughs> this, is, this is a new experience you for me. Like, I kind of really like it. Are. we got to talk about this. Now, folks, we try to avoid things that are controversial. We try to avoid things that will get you upset. Right. We, we don't do political, but today we've got to tackle an incredibly important subject that has got America up in arms. If we had dramatic music like CNN, we would have it right now. Mm -hmm. Right. Da -da -da -da. Thank you very much. Well, is that's it? not really for CNN, but... <laughs> Happy holidays or Merry Christmas. <laughs> She's not where, where, where is his hand right now? That's what I want to know. Where is his hand? Why don't you try going backwards? Rock a little more forward and then pull up to your heel. How are you doing over here? I would stop and talk to you, but I don't know how to stop you. <laughs> Another great way to get a taste of Aruba is to try a local food stand. You don't need a reservation, you don't need a menu. All you need is a sense of adventure. You gotta teach me how to yeah. chop it. Oh. Oh. I can't even get it out yet. Oh. Oh. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Rebecca, I'm trying to win something for you. Here we go. Well, pasta is a go-to favorite for a lot of families, including mine, but today we want to make it even better. You know our guest in the kitchen today is one of the fan favorites of Top Chef and Top Chef All-Stars, Chef Rocco Despirito, Tyler Florence, Chef John DeLucci, Chef Matt Moore, and we're making some easy southern comfort foods. You promised me grits, collard greens, and pork. We have made a lot of recipes on the show <laughs> yeah. over the years. Uh -huh. You know I love tasting food in the kitchen. Mmm. 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 Mm. Amazing. Oh, oh my god. My god. <laughs> that is so good. And now I have to go to the gym. And that is all the inspiring, interesting, thrilling, and clever we can fit into an hour. That's right. We're all out of time. That's right. Should we say goodbye to these <laughs> we lovely say people? Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, do something to make somebody's life better.